This is the story of someone who is terrified of dying and someone who couldn't wait for him to die. It's the story of the hunted and the hunter, John Hunter, one of 18th century England's leading surgeons who got his medical knowledge from dissecting human corpses. Hunter would even threaten to kill colleagues to get his hands on a fresh body. He always got his man, and the Irish giant was going to be his biggest prize. This giant was a young Irishman named Charles O'Brien, who stood a towering seven feet ten inches tall. Hunter was obsessed with obtaining his body by fair means of foul. In 1782, O'Brien arrived in London and settled in Piccadilly. He made a small fortune being billed as the tallest man in the world. Crowds flocked to his house, paid an entrance fee, and gawped in wonder. One such visitor was John Hunter, who parted with the chilling words, you have a year or two left to live, will your body to me? Never bellowed O'Brien fleeing his home. He sought refuge here on Cockspur Street. But that didn't stop Hunter, who stalked O'Brien relentlessly. He would wait day and night, staring up at the giant's room, willing the Grim Reaper to do his deadly deed. He didn't have to wait long. In June 1783, O'Brien died, aged just 22. His friends placed his corpse in a lead-lined coffin, which they planned to secretly drop in the Irish Sea. Unfortunately for O'Brien, Hunter followed them. That night, while O'Brien's friends rested, Hunter and his accomplices switched the body for rocks of the same weight and took it back to London. Working through the night, Hunter performed an autopsy, then boiled the flesh off the giant's corpse in a huge vat in his basement. Today, it's on display here at the Hunterian Museum, now part of the Royal College of Surgeons. And here it is, sharing a display case with the world's smallest person, who stood just 22 inches tall, less than one quarter the height of O'Brien, whose own proportions are truly phenomenal. O'Brien's skull is over two feet in circumference, and his feet are an incredible 15 inches in length. His thigh bone alone is almost three feet long, and the distance from fingertips to wrist is 11 and a half inches. Over 200 years later, John Hunter rests in peace, but his victim still awaits his final resting place. Would you believe it?